<laughs> right, this shouldn't this shouldn't take too long hopefully to get get that get this one uh dragonfly and are there a few gems missing too uh i don't know well let's hit the atlas You did a Oh, okay. Thanks, Zoe. Am I missing I am wait, okay. No, I'm not. I, it's just I'm the it's just Tom's okay. We just gotta go we just gotta go free some kids. Yeah. Or at least they get their kites. I mean we already got one. I don't think that uh, counts. Anymore. I think it resets after you leave. Also, no. uh, they. I, you gotta love how in 2 and 3, the Ice Breath was only in one level in each of those games. And they have. They do more of the Ice Breath in those single levels than this game does in a game that has it as an unlockable, like, permanent breath. You gotta yeah, love another it. one! Wow. Wow, ice Breath? It, yeah, Spyro 2 and 3 had one level each that had an ice breath. Um, it's like, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's only really used for this one, like, thing. And then it's never really useful again. I do not look Thanks for getting my kite down, Spyro. My buddies RJ and Dougie are flying their kites today, too. Have you seen them, Spyro? I did not. I do not recall Spyro 2 having ice breath at in any level. It is pretty late in, into the game, so it it does make for some of the most uh, interesting puzzles in most games because like you have to think about how to get to higher like platforms and stuff by like freezing enemies. Can I freeze money bags? Thanks, but Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, money bags. Your account has been frozen. <laughs> oh man. Also, gotta love how I have to get these uh, these kites by just um, like freezing babies. My favorite thing was I helped this kid, right? I got oh. on I got the kite without hey, using the ice breath, and he still goes, Bruh, and that was cold. Hey, it's yeah, well, yeah, they they didn't think uh, you'd be able to do do it without it. Uh, so I, I guess I don't need to. I guess it did save it, huh? Oh, like, I, nice I guess I can just leave then. Why did you get all the did you get all the gems? Yeah. yeah. Complete, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. All right then. Well, again, I played Season of Flame first, so that game started due with the ice breath due to plot reasons. Mm. And I, I, no, I thought that was Season of Ice. No, Season of Flame also did it. Mm. I am. I I've never played the. I I always assumed it was ju you just had the flame breath in those games. Season of well, Flame. Yeah. Place is freezing up, so and that included the flame breath. Hmm. Okay, what? What do we? Are, are we going like this way now? Um. I think, yeah, I think we. I think we still gotta. Well, no, 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 no. I think it's downwards to head to the. Cause we still have, we still have to do like the honey the honey bayou. Oh yeah. Like this is meant to be like the general. This is like just the general grassy garden area that we see in most of the Spyro intros, right? More or less. Hey, do we fight Ripto now? Um, probably. Nope. Nope. I do- there's I'm... like two um, versions of the fight. I know there's one where like, um, you just get enough collectibles and it's like, the fight is like two seconds long and then once you get everything then it's the actual fight, which I guess is not too dissimilar to- 
to um like the other games, but um, you know where the secret fight? Yeah. But I mean at okay. least my favorite thing in Fire 2 is after you beat when you beat Spot when you beat Ripto, he falls into the lava, but he just kinda like slides in. Yeah. Well that should do it. He just time. drops in just like slowly like go like <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is the level where I, I think this is the level where we get to see uh hear Sparks go, Hi. This is also the this is also the ever tank level. <laughs> oh god yeah. So what other yeah, what other levels are there? Like there's I think is it just Thieves Den and Jurassic Jungle or whatever it's called? Well, we can take a look at the end. <laughs> oh wait, no, there's an ice level. I just forgot. I I just remembered. Oh, I don't have to hold you. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna? Excuse me. Okay. It's like the monkey mausoleum or something like that. Welcome to Honey Mars. Yeah, something like that. Them Riptock critters have messed this here place up, but good. <laughs> Opie. <laughs> I tells you what, I'll make you a deal as sweet as honey. There are some honey stills draining all the honey from Honey Marsh. You help us get rid of them, and any of them there dragonflies you're going on about that you find along the way, you can keep. Just. Oops. Okay, cool. Um, I will say I I I don't mind. The idea of this level either because it's basically a full level version of like uh honey uh, speedway honey speedway or whatever it was from spyro 3 so the idea of making that into a full level i think is like expanding on what was already there which i i think is cool D does it damage me yes it does okay <laughs> yeah, honey yo <laughs> sticky Yeah, I guess, um, going on on for, like, a couple of things that this game does <laughs> actually do right, um, as, as much as, like, the Ripto and, like, Crush and Gob are, like, barely a thing, but at least, I will say, at least, like, they made, like, they made it so, like, he has a clear goal, besides just generic bad guy wants to take over and that's it, um, like, he's... Like, making the dragonflies get all scattered so, like, the dragons are, like, um, panic and, like, kind of screwed and whatnot. Uh, so I, I, I do like that they made Rip to actually have more of a, like, clear role. Um, as half-baked as it is, given how, like, his... <laughs> you barely see cutscenes with him. Uh, so it's, like, it, it definitely could be better, but at least I do like that they at least did something and the fact that like there's the like he actually has an established army with the reptox this time i do like that as well because in in spyro 2 it was reptox were never mentioned as a thing and it was based i'm um, like the game basically made it seem like the the enemies were just avalars um like locals i guess so it's just kind of Avalar itself screwing itself over, <laughs> so, you know. Oh no, the realms are apt, like, some of those... Spyro is, like, absolutely, like, playing two different worlds against each other in some levels. Yeah, that's the thing as well. I I guess in some ways, like, I, I do... If you just... I, I'm... I need... I need health. Um, if you just ignore Ripto kind of being a mediocre villain <laughs> in Spyro 2, I do, like... I do like Avalar as a world, um, and just if you, I feel like if you ju if you just see the le the levels as like uh, something separate from the main conflict of the game, I think it's great. Um, you know, it's just when you like try and <laughs> factor rip to him himself into it that it kind of falls flat in that regard. But um, you know. 
I've talked about this at nauseam at Inspiro 2, so uh, I won't go too much on, into that here, but yeah. At least I'll, I'll at least give Kutos to um. What do we what did we call them before? Like Chequinox? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give them Kutos for like making Ripto um, actually a decent villain in this game, if, even if it is uh, like like screen time and whatnot could have been better. But it's not really it's not really the team's fault. It's just you know circumstance. By the way, I hope you don't mind, but in the background, I'm playing WarioWare Get Together. <laughs> Where? I like this theme. Okay. Yep. Ah, uh, the return of Spyro 1, quote unquote, water damage. Yep. Yeah, that's uh. As you know, kids, yeah. honey is lethal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wild Beedrill fainted. <laughs> yeah, Wait I don't... Till it gets to but yeah, it's, it's like, it's my... A lot of it is like minor things, but I... I don't think this game is all bad. It, it's like, it, it has some... Like, it has some... Good stuff if you're willing to dig, like dig down into the dirt. It's not a lot, but you know. Wait. Oh. Fuck. Oh my god. These are these enemies kind of suck though. So anyways, um, how about the di direct day? Square Enix is getting back to like PS1 levels of game variety, or at least <laughs> game quantity. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. touch as much of their stuff as I probably should, but oh, I, I appreciate yeah. their output. Uh, I yeah, I think the Square Enix stuff I played are like. Kingdom Hearts and like two Final Fantasies. <laughs> I don't know if I played anything else. Symphonia is a... No, Symphonia is a Bandai Namco. No, I'm just saying Symphonia is nice to have that come back. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah uh, what's the pricing for that? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know. Well, the Return to Dreamland Deluxe is apparently 60 bucks, so who, you know. You told me that game, I, I, I'm, I, I mean, yeah, we can debate on whether that's deserved, but I imagine yeah. Return to Dreamland Deluxe will have more new content than the, than the Symphonia remaster will. Probably. I, I thought the, um, given that the, uh, was it Vesperia remastered or whatever it's called, it is um from what Nick tells me it's basically just a PS3 version and uh that's it it didn't really they didn't really add anything so it probably just is the normal version of the game but like upscaled or something if, if even that weird looking theme yeah a little bit Talk oh, oh, Not anymore, it isn't. So, I was gonna say, um, we don't know who vo did the thieves like sound effects, do we? I don't know. It's not like a stock sound effect, is it? I have no idea. <laughs> so I know there's a por portal there. I just want to make sure this is cleaned out. What? Uh, heck. Okay. This game is weird. Yeah. That's one way to put it. Yeah. Hmm? Tank, isn't it? I just imagine how much worse this would have been if you were playing on the PS2. Yeah, and I played the PS2 version, and it just, yeah. 
I do remember that the PS2 version when I recorded that. I think it cr uh, crashed on the on the cloud level. Okay, what is this? Oh God damn it! Welcome to Honey No, I don't care what you have to say. This <laughs> this sucks. Great. Okay. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't take a million years. Probably like up there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I did it. Yeah. Let's go, Obulon. <laughs> Wait, who? Orbul I'm playing WarioWare. It sounded like you said Obi Wan. The Ob Orbulon, it's the alien. <laughs> Have you played any WarioWare? I forget. Um, yes I have. Uh... Didn't it just move? I thought, like, oh yeah, you said you played Smooth Move. I played a bit of it, yes. That's the best one. Um... What time it was. I played... WarioWare Snapped, I think. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before, like, I... Um... I think my... Mo my... The... The, the best memories I have with um, with WarioWare Snapped is um, just trying really hard to make it make it so the camera detects um, like plushies and just seeing if they it would actually make uh, make it so they they it could make it like play the game. Um, sometimes I got it to work, but when I did, it just <laughs> didn't really function very well. But it was really funny. Please tell me that was it. Awesome shooting, Spyro. You sure you ain't my fear cousin? Did you do it again? Did you all hear me talking to my mother? A little. I heard him. I heard. I didn't hear anything. I, 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 I couldn't hear specifics, but I could hear you uh, talking about something. Could you hear anything else? Um. Hey, I no. think. Iroquois Pliskin, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't really hear anything specific. but you can play the sticky swamp shootout again if you want. No, sticky swamp shootout sounds like a sounds very gross. Yeah. I wonder if you caught that reference I made. Yes, I caught it. Okay, then come back when you're up to the challenge. Thank you, Russell Bob. I want ice cream. Remix. Remix. Remix, remix. Yeah, I haven't really uh, heard what you thought about the direct in general. Like, uh, how, what was your general takeaway from that? It was a very short Zelda trailer. Yeah. I still don't really know what to make of. I, I kind of I can't call it Breath of the Wild 2 anymore, but I, I can I still feel like I barely know what what that game is. <laughs> the Zelda game, Zelda's getting screwed. Like the end. <laughs> like it's coming out in May apparently, so we can we can finally get this over with. Um, hopefully, uh, I I don't trust uh, Zelda release dates until we get the game like the games come out because. They, like, I think starting with, like, what, Ocarina of Time, they've always, like, been delayed. Or not all, maybe not always, but, like, it's, um, a pretty safe bet. I don't think Wind Waker was delayed. People probably wish it was. Yeah, I feel like that would have done that game a lot, a lot of good if it was delayed. Oh, I was gonna say, um... 
the um I guess the The severity is downplayed due to the presence of remakes and ports and like canonical spin-offs, but we have actually Breath of the Wild and the gap between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, is that what it's called? Tears of the Kingdom, that is, yeah. That is the longest gap between mainline Zelda games. Which is crazy to think about because um like the the fact that the um wait for Tears of the Kingdom is like longer than what Breath of the Wild was um, is crazy to think about because they already had the all the um, stuff like ready for uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I, I still need to get used to saying that, but um, it's they they have that ha that game has to have like some crazy stuff in it uh, because otherwise I don't really know how that's, that's supposed to like take longer than Breath of the Wild did. Game development's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Bye. Random key. Like, what the hell they're reusing, I guess, parts of the map at the very least, but I imagine they're doing something. What, what was I say? I imagine they had to redo, not redo, but create some new stuff just so it didn't look too familiar. So, yeah. like, I almost wonder if the, I, I do kind of wonder if the reuse of the old, of the prior Hyrule was even much help. Mm. Yeah, I feel like it has to, it has to be, like, remixed or something uh, in that way, because I don't feel like it would really work if, like, the Hyrule was literally just the same as in the first game. Uh, so, like... I would at least like it to be remixed or changed in some way, so it feels like you're exploring like a new landscape again. Um, but it, it does at, the, at least look that there's they're adding a decent amount of stuff on top of it. So I guess we'll we'll see. Um, it doesn't matter what Nintendo it doesn't matter what Nintendo does. If it's just a if it's a conventional but ultimately competent sequel people are still gonna be like we waited six years for this <laughs> guys yeah yeah guys yeah fire emblem engage fire emblem divorce fire emblem i lost custody of the kids oh my god isn't that just fate <laughs> <laughs> isn't that just fire emblem depending how you want to look at it <laughs> Yeah, not looking forward to the discourse around Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. When it comes I, out. I do, there's probably gonna, gonna be a lot of, like, some discourse of like, Oh, they're reusing assets, that's so lazy, and it's just... I hate the argument. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> Games I, take too gosh damn long to begin with. <laughs> yeah. I've always uh, gone by the philosophy of, of like, if, um, if a game is reusing assets, uh, as long as it's like meaningful content and like it's and like it's less uh, strain on the the dev the dev team because like they don't have to make stuff from scratch um, and it just enhances the game in terms of like just having more to do I see I, I don't see anything uh, I, I don't see that as being anything but a win because like you get more game out of it and and uh, the devs um, Obviously, it's still it's not going to be easy, but it will be. It's less um, time consuming than if they had to make everything new. So I, I I don't mind reused assets. Hey, it's Ron. I was like. When Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, I was like, okay, they can save this stuff for a sequel. And yeah. then they're probably just going to be remaking all the assets again for Kingdom Hearts 4. So, yeah, that's great. I mean, I... I feel like that, that's a fair bet as well. Because uh, the... With the um, games before 3, they, they could just easily reuse assets. 
because like the they always ma like made the games on consoles that had relatively similar hardware specs so they didn't really have to like change much like every like stuff will like they have hd they have hd assets now but yeah yeah we'll see like no more theme kind of unsure about the scope of kingdom hearts uh, scope the quantity of kingdom hearts 4 compared to other games oh god uh, um well i think what I remember hearing is that, like, Kingdom Hearts 4 and just... Denser game... Worlds. Probably <laughs> Denser Worlds, but... Yeah, Denser Worlds, like, making them, like, really huge and stuff, but... Probably at the cost of the, um, the quantity. It's like you're going to a really small Disney park. Yeah. If you could wipe them all out, I'd be much obliged. When you're done, go see my second cousin, Warren Bob. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some Rip Talk butt. Well, then be high. Spyro, you can talk. Tough, <laughs> so you're gonna need to swallow those rocks and spit them out like watermelon seeds. <laughs> yeah, I, I would like health. I could have sworn I saw green, a green sparks with you. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> This game's this game's gaslighting me. <laughs> oh god, I feel sick. <laughs> I feel sick. Uh. Yeah. But I guess besides um. Besides uh, Breath of the Wild, I guess, did anything else stand out to you? Kirby's looking really pretty. Yeah. Uh, I wanna eat. Oh, okay, I can't look at this right now. I can't. Not. Uh, well, I'm happy to see Pikmin 4 has been formally Eve announced. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, okay. I, I actually feel a little ill. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I can't remember anything other than Square Enix titles and farming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what have we got? Uh, like, a bunch of farm stuff. Uh, oh, Octopath. Pauline's coming to Mario Striker, so good for her. That's, yeah. Um, there's Octopath Traveler too, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, um... Oh yeah, GoldenEye and PilotWing64 have been let out of purgatory, so that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, I've never played any, like, either of those, so... And we're getting Mario Party. Yeah, all three of them. Hopefully the uh, netcode isn't trash. <laughs> Good joke. How the heck does this work? Do I need... Because, like, these beasts I hope just keep spawning. I hope Diddy Kong Racing is next on the docket for N64 Online. Hmm. Yeah, what, what, yeah, what's ne left now? It's like, D, um, basically just a bunch of rare stuff. You just oh. need... Wait. What the hell am I doing? I mean, some rare titles, licensed games that they can somehow manage. Uh, stuff like, what's it called? Space Station Silicon Valley. I don't even know who owns that IP. Who owns Buck Bumble? I don't know. Do I like... We need some... Oh. If Warner could, you know, like, stop being so fidgety about their old... Uh, like, their old, um, backlog. Um, I'd like some Midway games from the N64 era. Mm. Bruh. This, it doesn't, why is this not working? Eat the thing. They should pull the yeah, release Glover on the N64 online. Oh yeah, Glover would be Ooh. cool. That's also a game I've never played. Hello. 
trying to f yeah, just trying to think of like what else is there like. Mm. I have an idea. I wonder what the guys uh, from like Check Six and Equinox are like doing now. I wonder if like any of these like guys like exist anymore. <laughs> I'm sure a few of them moved on to other studios, but I would not be surprised if this game halted a lot of careers. Probably, yeah. I, I don't think there were. I don't, I don't think there were any winners with this game. Yeah. It's unfortunate. I don't believe it. You did it. I don't I believe it. <laughs> I wasn't born in the back country, you know. Uh, okay, that fire <laughs> that is offensive. That was also like way longer than uh, the actual like text box. Yeah, but I didn't think you could really do it. Now I owe Jimmy Bob five bucks, and you owe us one dragonfly. What's a buck? I sure yeah. up do. Here you go. Hey, it's Lily. I like how they just keep vanishing. They're done. They, they just they 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 don't want to be in this game. Spyro, that is just so oh, that's offensive. Spyro, they don't. Just because they live in the backwoods doesn't mean they're stupid. Yeah. Also, are are they like are they gators? I think so. <clears throat> I also- I hear that. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I'm- yeah, I'm tapping out after this level is done. <laughs> I guess we're done after this one? I guess. I don't know about YouTube, but I'm done, like, I- We yeah. might as well. There's only so much of this game I can take. Oh, yeah, I feel sick. Uh... I don't think there's- there, I don't think there should be too much left of this level, but, yeah. Me. Oh. Hey, it's gory. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, apologies if like commentary is kind of like all over the place, but like there's only so much I can really say about a game like this. Like everyone knows that ga this game is trash, and like <laughs> I I'm not really um, digging out new ground here. It's more fun. The only, the only real content we've been getting lately is just us making fun of the glitches. Yeah. So nothing I can say about this game would be, like, anything new. Hey, it's Tim! So, Tim! Uh, so, <laughs> like, after, after this uh, playthrough is done, I don't... Unless someone, like, says, oh, play Enter the Dragonfly and you'll get, like... You'll be like, like a millionaire or something. Unless something like that happens, I'm never playing this game ever again. We got we got record for C's. Well, I do I do still have that footage if we ever need to do that. But um, yeah, that thing's that that footage is probably like eight years old at this point. Uh. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, like, go out, go out my way to play bad games, usually, like, unless I, like, unless I'm, like, really curious, or I just want to do it for a laugh, I don't try, I, I don't usually try to go out my way to play trash. You did it! You saved us a whole mess of trouble by getting rid of them nasty critters! Glad I could be of service. I think here's a dragonfly for you, little fella. Don't is spend it, it all in one play. Is this the one that's uh, where we're gonna hear Sparks go, hi? Hey, it's Kaka. 
see Takashi Izuka. Yeah, here we go. Besides, they got them bug eyes too. Mm, gives me the creeps. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, listen, listen here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Alright. Uh, there's still a bit more. Yeah, the thing is with the, with this game as well, it's like when it's not being really funny and glitchy, it's just kind of a boring Spyro game. And like, argu that's arguably worse. Yeah. Have we been down there? No, this is new. This whole area is new? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because the basket's down there. These levels suffer for having to probably shove in a bunch of stuff that was meant for other levels. Yeah. Like, I guess this is that this is that density of content that Nomura was talking about. <laughs> oh man! Like three generations early. Too wide. That's, that's, that sounds wrong. Music is lively. Are you racing it? I think this is like. I think this is like meant to be a race. Um, I like the idea of these, um, it's, it, it has, like, no animation or, like, um, it looks terrible, but, like, I like the idea of these slide mini games. <laughs> <sighs> that's not, that's not, as a game, just so old and oh. thick. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I I don't I don't think everything in this game is bad. I feel like that'll ju that'll just be um, overdoing it, but you know. Like if they ever made like a Spyro Four, um, like these these like slide challenges, I wouldn't mind them trying to bring that concept back at least. If they just like. Make them less jank looking. <laughs> kind of gives me a slight Rayman 2 vibes a, a little bit. Music's pretty good. I don't particularly, like, remember a lot of the Spyro soundtracks, but I think they are- I, I think the Spyro soundtracks are, like, they're good, like, in the moment kind of thing, but they're not really- Good job, Spyro! With your help, we managed to stop that bee right in its tracks! Mm. He won't be bothering anyone anymore! I got the dragonfly from him, too! Here you be! Oh my god. But yeah, uh... With with some exceptions here and there, I don't I don't think the uh, soundtrack in the Spyro trilogy or like the Spyro games in general are really games where you like uh, where you listen to them like in your own time, at least for me. But it, it does have a very unique sound though I, that I do like. I was wondering where the mu I was wondering where the music went. Yeah. I didn't know you had left. Yeah. Uh, oh gosh. Yeah, I'm I'm done. Yeah. So I guess um just quick uh if, if you can think of like other things to do with the direct before we like stop. Because I we're we're probably gonna forget about it by the time we do a 
the next session. Nah. Um, Pikmin 4 exists. That's pretty big. No, it's always existed. Yeah. Apparently. Um, it's like... Yeah, the game's almost finished, guys. Uh, Miyamoto says in, like, 2015. He's been a very busy man since 2015. Yeah. He doesn't, like, there, I, I do hope he has, like, a succession plan for, like, heading up Pikmin down the line. It seems like Pikmin only comes about when he feels like. Yeah. I do, I, I guess that's, I guess that's how it should be, but, like, he has some mm. long-ass gaps. Okay, cool, we're done. I, th I think. Let me check. Um. Why does it do that? Oh my god. What? Why is this book, like, broken? <laughs> uh, okay, so... Okay, Monkey, Monastery, Thieves' Den, and Jurassic Jungle. Those are the... Okay, so we have three levels left. And then we have... Uh... <laughs> Sparks freaking out, I guess. He's getting bigger! <laughs> and then Sparrow just kind of dashing somewhere. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know, like, I don't think we're ever going to know if this is true or not, but um, I've heard a lot um, in these past couple of years that, like, apparent, like Nintendo just have a bunch of games finished and they're just kind of waiting to release stuff, like, waiting for the right time, so um, maybe Pikmin 4 was one of those games, but, yeah. I'm just glad it exists and we have a like a release, uh, yeah. I think it was just 2023. Um, so... Yeah, I, I... I said it in the reaction, but I don't... I don't even need to see gameplay. I just... The fact that it, it's even a real thing is good enough for me. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, do you guys... Do either of you have any more to say about the Direct or the honey level or anything before I stop. I want to puke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess that's it then. Um, so yeah, uh, next time we'll... I, I don't... Uh, we, we probably won't finish, but we'll be very, very close. So uh, not too long of this... Uh, too, not too much of this game is left, thankfully. And then we can move on to whatever we're doing next, which I don't actually remember what we're doing, but, um, yeah, fun times. See you guys next time.